Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. In this example, we have a scalar field and we have to find the value of line integral of that scalar field over a given path. Okay. So the given function I have already written f of x, y, z is equal to what we have x cos z. So let me write the given parameterized curve. So given parameterized curve, parameterized curve, let me write here curve. They have called it as gamma, right? Gamma, which is uh, from close interval 0, 1 to R3. Getting since they have clearly mentioned t varies from 0 to 1. So obviously the gamma whose domain is close interval 0, 1 and codomain is R3 since the domain of function is x, y, z. That means R3. So that's why gamma defined from close interval 0, 1 to R3 is defined as defined as gamma of t is equal to what have they given t i plus t square z getting so that means the first component is t second component is t square and third component is not provided getting so that means i should consider zero since nothing mention is there that means zero k is there getting i j k so t i plus t square z plus zero k so that thing we have so that's why we uh, consider this gamma of t in this way right after that what we want we want gamma dash of t we want norm gamma dash of t so let us find those values first then gamma dash of t that means its derivative okay so let us find its derivative derivative of t is 1 derivative of t square is 2t derivative of 0 is 0 and norm gamma dash of t so you know that how to find its norm 1 to t 0 so definition is square root of square of first component plus square of second component plus square of third component okay so let us write on that side so it is square root of 1 plus 4 t square right after that what we want we want f of gamma of t let us find its value now f of gamma of t right so this is equal to f of what is definition of gamma of t t t square and 0 so let us follow the definition of f definition of f is x cos z that means first component into co cosine of third component so that means i should write here first component our x is t and cos our z is 0 so cos 0 so know that cos 0 is 1 so we will have t only so in this way we calculated norm gamma dash of t and f of gamma of t so let us consider integral now then integration of f over curve c the given curve c whose parameterization is gamma so this is equal to by definition of line integral of scalar field uh, i should write here 0 to 1 since domain of gamma is close interval 0 1 so limits of integration will be 0 to 1 right after that what we should write f of gamma of t right next norm gamma dash of t and next dt so this is equal to integration 0 to 1 f of gamma of t what we have t only norm gamma dash of t it is square root of here also we have written square root of 1 plus 4 t square dt we cannot solve this integration directly since square root is there product is there so there is a need of substitution normally we put something such that whose derivative is easily adjustable so i'm going to put 1 plus 40 square is equal to x okay so putting whatever you want you can put so i'm putting 1 plus 40 square is equal to x so when we put anything first task is to find its derivative and second task is to find new limits okay so let us find its derivative derivative of 1 is 0 derivative of this one is 80 dt derivative of x is 1 so dx so what is value of t dt it is dx by 8 by shifting 8 on that side so we can easily replace t dt by dx by 8 so let us find new limits so there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it first then we will go further okay so for t is equal to 0 lower limit is 0 so for t is equal to 0 let us find new value of x if i put t is equal to 0 value of x will be 1 right upper limit is 1 so if i put t is equal to 1 okay let us see what will happen if i put t is equal to 1 value of x will be 5 
so limits of x will be from 1 to 5 so therefore integration of f over c new limits 1 to 5 square root of we have call it as x right and t dt we can easily replace by dx by 8 so what will happen that is it is a constant 1 by 8 so it will come outside the integration 1 by 8 integration 1 to 5 you know that x root x means x raised to 1 by 2 dx so simply we will for, uh, apply the formula integration of x raised to n so formula says x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 so here value of n is 1 by 2 1 by 8 its integration will be x raised to 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 with limits 1 to 5 let me remove that side so we'll have some more space to write so that 3 by 2 is constant getting so it will come outside but when you take it outside this 2 and 8 so 2 2 will get cancelled so we'll have 4 and 3 into 4 that means 12 so we'll have 1 by 12 with root sorry x raised to 3 by 2 we have x raised to 3 by 2 with limits 1 to 5 so value of f uh, integration f over c is equal to 1 by 12 I am putting upper limit first 5 raised to 3 by 2 minus 1 raised to 3 by 2 okay so 1 by 12 5 raised to 3 by 2 that means you know this is 5 root 5 and 1 raised to anything we will have 1 so this is a required answer okay make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye